Well, Lucian, we got the Jagged Crown. Now it's time to head back to Solitude. And it's nighttime. Let's head to White Run. We'll stay there for the night. Oh. I believe that Silent Moon camps over by White Run. Before we take the carriage to Solitude, we could head there. You know what? The bands are probably sleeping right now, so I'm wide awake. A little hungry and thirsty, but you know what? We can eat here real quick before we leave. Let's see. What do I got to eat? Uh, do I not have anything to drink? Some bread. Um, I'll have some wine. And a baked potato. All right. Let's see, where are we from right one? So down this path, down here. Silent Moon Camp is over there. So we could get about here, cut through there, and get to Silent Moon Camp. I believe Arion said there was some sort of ring or something there. I can see white run up ahead. Quite close. Good job. I should have my hatchet out right now. Hello, Traveler. You need something? No, nothing. I'll just be moving uh, on. All right, then. I've been looking for you. What? I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Let's see. Let's read this note you just gave me. Let's see. Was this? The year has turned its cycle, the seasons come and go, the harvest is all gathered, and a chilly north winds blow. Taverns will be busy throughout the day, but free food and drinks will be available all for all outside 5 p.m. Oh, nice. Hmm. I don't really care about being jovial. I'd much rather stop the storm cloaks than celebrate the year. This year hasn't been much to celebrate. You hear a whisper. Over there. That's kind of out of the way. The ancestors are always trying to get me to kill inconveniently. Hello. Bit late to be wondering. What's going on? Bandits. Staying safe, I hope. Uh, yeah, I just have to take out these bandits. As a soldier of the Imperial Army now. Uh, hmm. 
A vampire? Watch out, Lucian. Good with the fire. There we go. Oh, there's that strange beast that hunted me the other night. So these things are vampire's pets, eh? Oh, the dog collar's worth a lot. I'll sell that. Now where's the vampire's body? Why do they need a potion of healing? Hmm. I can sell that for a pretty penny. Alright. We've ran into a lot of vampires lately. Didn't realize Skyrim was crawling with vampires. Let's see, Silent Moon Camp's that way. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see, what was the ring called that he wanted me to get? Destagmer's ring. Okay. Under the rain and night cover, we should be able to take these bandits out by surprise. This must be Silent Moon Camp. Okay. Let's sneak around. See if we can catch the bandits off guard. Here's someone sheathing a sword. Is that you? No, you use magic. They might be sleeping. Alright. Alright, Lucian, you ready? Let's move silently. Ah, uh, Lucian! Ah! Get up! That's a long range weapon, Lucian! Use a poison on her. Ah! Oh. Whew! That was a close one! Let's see, what did you have on you? Nah, don't need that. Let's see, I better heal up. I know there's a Kajik down here, I heard him. What was that? There he is. Oh, he's an archer. Good. 
He had some good arrows. Alright, let's go check out his friends. See if they had the ring on them. He didn't have the ring. Maybe the ring's in here? Nope. Let's see. Do you have the ring? Iron arrows, long bow. Nope, no ring. Alright, let's rest here, Lucian, for a few hours. Let's see. I had a dream that I got more powerful. Get picking locks, but I can try. Oof. Ah, there we go. Got it. Awesome. What was this? Sealed hatch. Lunar steel mace. Ooh. Magica. Wonderful stamina. Strong box. Ah. Desmurf's ring. Fire, frost, and lightning resistance. Ooh, that's a pretty good ring. Excavation site. Excavation sites will yield fragments and occasionally keystones, which can be used at archaeological stands to create artifacts. Ooh, okay. This could go towards the museum, I'm sure. I'm sure he's gonna ask me to excavate these things, so might as well. Painting, lingering stamina, gold. What's this? Marl's knapsack. Boots. Oh, I care. Oh, Jesus. Marl's journal. Apollo Volume One. Looks like they put him down. He's been down here for. It's like, part, wait a minute. Is that an Argonian head? Hmm. Interesting. Still raining. Ugh. Well, now we don't need to go right run. We got some sleep here. We just need to go get the carriage and get head to solitude as fast as we can. Turn this jagged crown to General Tullius. And bring this ring to Arion. Very nice. Ooh, fish. It rains a lot in Skyrim, doesn't it, Lucian? Lucian? Ah, there you are. You get left behind a lot, don't you? That's probably why you gave me that resonance stone. Let's see if I can get him one hit.
Here, can you carry this? What do you need? Uh, deer carcass I just got. Go ahead. Load me up. Apparently cannot hold that. Let's get back to it. Ah, I don't re really want to sit out in the rain, carving this up, but I will. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Okay, let's. Uh, it only take a few bit. Okay, let's skin this pelt, see what kind of pelt we can get from it. Poor condition, ugh. You learn from the experience harvesting the bones and organs from man. You feel as though you are improving. <laughs> Two animal bones, let's butcher the meat. You finish butchering one section of the car, it'll take more time to butcher the rest. Alright, that's enough. Uh, I guess we should finish butchering his meat. Alright, let's dispose of his corpse. Here, I'm gonna give you some meat to carry. What's on your mind? <clears throat> of course. I'm gonna get bitter at my uh, speech. Salesman stuff to actually sell this venison to make it worth anything. Right behind you. But it'd be good for us to load up on food. I really should learn a conjuration spell. Maybe I, maybe I can teach you a conjuration spell as well. My ancestors, like I told you before, were necromancers, so. They knew a lot about conjuration. I know if I was to ever cast one, I would have an innate ability to do it. Hello. Well met, Traveler. What brings you to White Run? Just passing through. A pity. And words I hear too often. But there's no shame in it. These are dark days with the war going on. Uh, you live here? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning. Along with the Grey Maze. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. Mm, I understand. I'm not a big fan of Ulfric myself. How much gold do I have? 700. Still not enough to buy a steed yet. Let's see. Where's the carriage driver? It's probably over here because it's raining. Yeah? Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to solitude. Climbing back and we'll be off. Alright, let's go. Solitude's a big board town, you know. Full of sailors and their tales of faraway lands. Most of them foreigners and liars, of course. <clears throat> it took us all night to get here. Ugh.
We were stopping the inn before we visit Tullius. I'm sure he's up at this time, but... But it's kind of impolite to go at these hours to see people. Papa said... Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, warm beds. Uh, I need a water. Do Welcome you have water? Welcome winking skeever, friend. Can I get some water? Of course. Hmm. Do you know where my friend can learn about magic? magic? You're on the wrong side of Skyrim. You want Winterhold. That college there, they teach it. Otherwise, you can try the Jarl's Wizard. I wouldn't, though. Hmm. What's wrong with the Jarl's Wizard? Remember the Winking Skeever next time you're uh, well, That's a good idea. Maybe I can get a spell from the Jarl's Wizard. I'll have to head there. Oh, I didn't even get a room. If you need a good room or uh, two, can sure I get thing? a room? It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. I, I believe it's the same place, so you don't really have to show me. But okay. You know what? Where's your kitchen? I need to make some venison. Your kitchen in here? No, this is a room. Maybe it's downstairs. No, this is just a basement. No cook pot. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, I'm looking for your cook pot. Can I cook food in here? No. Oh, hello. Hi there. Oh, hello. What brings you here? respects to me dead husband. Henry and I lost his father in the war. Now, I do what I can to get by and care for Henry. It must be hard, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, we manage. I just have to keep Henry entertained and out of trouble. That's the really hard part. Hmm, it must be Henry. How are you? Oh, okay, I guess. It's hard with father gone. I really miss him. I wish I were older. Then I didn't get join up with the Legion and get my revenge on those Stormcloak rebels who killed father. But mother says I can't join until I'm 17. Hmm. I joined the Legion. Just close this person's door. I don't think they want people coming in. All right, Lucian, I'll talk to you in the morning. <clears throat> ah, I feel good. Come, let's take a seat. Been a good week, my boy. Loud customers mean good cheer and good Come. cheer. Come. Sit down. Certainly. What needs doing? I'll be right behind you. Hello there. Certainly. Come on, sit down. Don't be a silly girl. I am at your service. Here you go. Ah! Sure. Well, you see, that's a little complicated, and you know what? Never mind. Guess I'm not retiring anytime soon. Alright, fine, don't sit down, whatever. I will just have my water and my venison Good without morning. you. Alright, are you finally coming to sit down? What's new? Um, I'd like to ask you something. I'm all ears. I, I, you tell me about oh, your family. Flavius is a firmly rooted in the Imperial City. We've always had a strong sense of home. We're a tight-knit bunch, and we get on rather well most of the time. They worry, though. Particularly about me. Gave them quite a shock when I told them about this expedition. Hmm. Do you have any siblings? None. I was the proverbial apple of my parents' proverbial eyes. And yes, they spoiled me rotten. Sometimes I wonder what it would have been like to have had a brother or a sister. 
but then I wouldn't be quite who I am today. So I can't complain. All right, well, tell me about your mother. Uh, Captain Lyra of the Imperial Legion. She and I couldn't be more different, but she's always supported me in everything I've done. She fought against the Thalmor in the Great War. In fact, oh, she really? was there That's for Lord cool. Narofin's defeat at the Battle of the Red Ring. She retired to really? marry my father and raise me. But despite her career, she never tried to force me onto the same path. By the time I was old enough to hold a book, it was clear I was going to follow my father into the academic world. Ah, oh, your father was an academic. I write to her fairly regularly. My father, too. And while she worries, I think she's proud of me for doing this. I hope so, anyway. That's a good mother. So your father was an Divinius academic, you say? Name. He's an academic, like me. Always up to his elbows in old scrolls. He does a lot of consultancy work for the Imperial government. Hunts down relics for them, that sort of thing. I'd be lying if I said we always saw eye to eye, but I owe a lot to him, and he's very dear to me. Hmm. Alright, well that's all I want to know for now. Sure. Right behind you. Alright. Now, we'll set out for the day, meet with General Tullius and Arwen, and see what's to do next.